offload the wounded. Come in, it's offloading wounded. Come in, this is very good, Mr. Bender. You're really getting the hang of this Navy stuff. Thanks, sir. And you can master the telephone, call Lieutenant Kern, and tell him I want to see him at once. Yes, sir. Come on, let's move it, let's move it. Easy but fast. This man has got to get in for treatment immediately. Lieutenant O'Hara? Yes. Are we going to your place or mine? Oh, you men are all alike. All you're after is my plasma. <laughs> No, sir, it's times like this when I'm almost proud of the Sea Tiger. Good night's sleep, Mr. Bender, and you'll get over it. <laughs> Gentlemen, liberty begins as soon as we finish freshwater washdown. <laughs> Listen, I'm a reasonably bright, charming, good-looking guy, aren't I? Reasonably. Then why can't I get past first base with you? Maybe it's your mustache. <laughs> My mustache? Everybody loves my mustache. Lieutenant, but everybody knows you can't cross midfield right in the middle of a SpongeBob game. <laughs> May I remind you, Bender, there's a war going on. That's right, we were right on the verge of forgetting about that. What did he say? He said there's a war on. No, he didn't. He said you're a moron. No, he said there's a war on. Enter. Captain. Captain, are you aware that there's something called sponge ball going on on the deck? What's the score? 6-6 six, six at the end of 12 sponges. <laughs> Captain Howard, don't you think that the men are <laughs> setting another Karen, let's not sweat the small stuff. We have real problems. We need help. Very well, Captain. On behalf of Admiral Borkman, we stand ready to help in any way that we can. Great. You can help me by giving me a transfer to the middle of Kansas. <laughs> don't start. <laughs> What's this? Blood. Who could deny these visions of loveliness anything? These visions of loveliness didn't get the sulfur they ordered. It was on last night's flight from Honolulu, but it was diverted to Midway. Combat priority. Well, what do we have to do to get what we want? How come you never ask me that? <laughs> I'll do what I can, Captain. Very nice. Keep in mind, there are only two things that stop infection. One is sulfur, the other is death. The entire shower has become basically useless. Ah, uh, except for them. Good afternoon, Lieutenant Crandall, Yeoman Hunkel. Captain, I was... Well... This is punishable by a summary court-martial. An officer fraternizing with an enlisted man? Well, it could have been worse. How? It could have been two enlisted men. Lieutenant <laughs> Crandall is just a nurse. That's not really Navy. She has no idea about the regulations. I know what the regulations are, and I know what I was doing. It was my fault. No, sir, it was my fault. Alvin! Dolores! Hold it, both of it. Clear out. I'll take care of it. Yes, sir, it... I'll take care of it. Yes, sir. Mr. Kern, I consider what happened here to be an internal matter involving the Sea Tiger. And as its commanding officer, I will take care of it. Is that understood? Aye, aye, sir. But if you should change your mind, I'll Kern, be glad to... Sir! Get the sulfur. Glad to be of help, sir. These guys like you don't give the war a bad name. <laughs> And you told Kern to get lost? Good for you, Captain. I told Kern to get lost because what happens on the Sea Tiger is none of his business. But as of now, they will stop seeing each other. Captain, you're ordering Dolores and Hunkle to stop seeing each other. No, I'm ordering you to order them to stop seeing each other. I think that's a foolish order. 
I don't care what you think. We can't have officers and men mixing it up. It hurts discipline. That's ridiculous. That's like saying if you and I were lovers, then you wouldn't be able to give me orders. If you and I were lovers, the only order I'd give you is to stop being my lover. <laughs> That's one order I'd obey. <laughs> You want to see me? And you speak to Uncle and tell him the next time he's in a shower, it better be a cold one, alone. <laughs> the shower compartment? You take a girl like Dolores into the shower compartment? Can you found someplace else? Well, there was a torpedo in the torpedo tube. All right, we gotta be sure and get it out of there by the weekend in time for the annual Harvest Moon Ball. Sir, it is a crowded boat. Daddy Jones, stay on the boat. Uncle, come here. Come here. Come around here. On the other side of this island is a lagoon. It's quiet, romantic. Only the natives go there. And you want me to take Dolores there? No. I just like describing lagoons. I'm a lagoon freak. <laughs> right, I, I want to take Dolores there. Okay, when you get to the lagoon, give Manolo, that's the native there, five bucks. He'll give you a boat to take you across to the island of fertility. The island of fertility? Right, it's kind of a combination shrine and picnic area. The natives go there to pray to the statue of Teratanaha. That's the god of fertility. But I'm a Presbyterian. Then <laughs> don't pray. Dolores, we have to talk about you and Hunk. Oh, Catherine, Alvin's so different from all the others. He's intelligent, sensitive, kind, and he's the only one on the sub that doesn't grunt at me. And you know what else I like about him? What? His smile. Doesn't he have a wonderful smile? Yes, he does. But and Dolores... he has the cutest ears. So small for a man. Yes, they are small. You're very lucky. Alvin's always saying he's the lucky one. Isn't that sweet? It certainly is. Now, what is it that you wanted to talk to me about? Um, suddenly, it doesn't seem to be very important anymore. In exactly 90 minutes, I'm going to be drunk. I can't get drunk, Chief. All I get is sick. Well, there's a trick to it. You got to coat the lining of your stomach first. With what? Beer. <laughs> Frankenstein's playing at Radio City Concert Hut. Good! I'm in the mood for a comedy. <laughs> well? Well what? My mustache. I shaved it off. I liked you better with it. <laughs> Oh, Travis, are you married? Married? My wife calls it a marriage, but for the last six years, it's been a marriage in name only. <laughs> What's that? That's Terra Tanaha, the uh, god of fertility. Oh. The natives worship him so that they'll be blessed with many children. The girls at the Sacred Heart Nursing School should see me now. Maybe they shouldn't. <laughs> Not only was it insubordination, it was stupid insubordination. Kern actually put them on report? Not only that, he's recommending Nurse Crandall be transferred off the Sea Tiger. The report will be on the Admiral's desk when he gets back from Fleet Headquarters. He can't do that. Oh, yeah, he can. And, and I seem to recall that I ordered you two to tell them to stop seeing each other. Did you? Of 
course you didn't. Why should you? It was only an order from your superior officer. What is that to you? Piffle. We don't have discipline on the sea, Tiger. It's more like mutiny on the bounty. Out! Bender, if Dolores is transferred because of this, I will personally murder you in your sleep. Don't worry about it. Dolores is not going to be transferred. Oh, and what are you going to do about it? Do? Do? I'm going to do plenty. Oh, what? You haven't seen me, my dear. I work best under pressure. Huh. All I need now is, is an idea. What happened? There's my idea. Said. I know what you said. I just can't believe that you said it. Oh, come on now. You you women love it when a guy talks to you like that. Bender, get out of here. Oh, I know your type. You just lead a guy on and then you just go and kick him in the khakis. <laughs> Lieutenant Wheeler, may I be of some assistance? What out of here, Kern. It's between I and her. It's all right. I can handle it. Anytime she wants to. Bender, you shouldn't be wearing the uniform of the United States Navy. You're absolutely right, so I'm just trying to... You've had enough. Famous. Skedaddle. Okay. All right, but well, before I go, I just want to ask you one question. What is it, Bender? Name me 12 secretaries in the interiors. <laughs> you can't do it, can you? You can't. You can't. I guess I showed him. He can't do it. <laughs> you know something? You're beautiful when you're blurry. Arvar. <laughs> Men. Let's not criticize the entire breed because of one unfortunate mutation. Oh, Kern. Travis. Thank you for coming to my defense, Travis. I'm always glad to help a damsel in distress. Can a damsel buy a guy a drink? Of course. You know, I'll bet if you and I gave it a try, we could develop a very meaningful relationship. Might be interesting. But it'll have to wait a few days. Huh? I'm snowed under with paperwork. Well, what's more important, a little paperwork or potentially meaningful relationship? But some of the stuff is already overdue. Now, you know what they say about all work and no play, Jack. Are you offering to play? Not if you're going to work. What's taking so long? Getting first base with Betty takes time. I should know. <laughs> Bender, what we're doing to Kern, don't you feel sleazy about it? No. Good, neither do I. <laughs> Where were we? We were talking about playing. But we have to be careful. People will talk. Not if they don't know. Hello is a small island. I know a place. I hoped you would. Watch out for my arms. I use my arms. This way, come on. Where is I? There's Mr. Bender. Uh, he'll vouch for me. Uh, you see? What the did I tell you? You dumb goon. This is Mr. Bender. He's the best executive officer on the Sea Tiger. What's the problem? Well, you see, sir, this here fella's caused some big trouble with a monkey ranch. You hit somebody with a monkey ranch? <laughs> Not a monkey ranch, a monkey ranch. Huh? A ranch where they keep monkeys? <laughs> you see, the natives raise them up in the hills, and he let them all out of their cages. Victor, they're coming out. Sorry, I couldn't bring the Duesenberg, but it's still in the shop. Well, maybe <laughs> next time. <laughs> They're all over the place, and the natives are all riled up. You see, to them, a monkey is like a dog. Oh, a house 
old pet, you know? Over here on Kaloa, a man's best friend is his monkey. <laughs> Not really, but I'll take him. Come on, come on. In the hurry. All right, all right. Come here, Dobrich. Get inside. I'm going to need your signature, sir. Dobrich, will you let go of me? All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Monkeys are people, too, you know. Come on, come on. Hey, anything else? He's all yours. Thanks loads. He's going to go Wait a minute. Get your leg down, clutch. This is beautiful. It's taking her to the island of fertility. How do you know? None of your business. <laughs> My wife calls it a marriage, but for the last six years, it's been a marriage in name only. <laughs> such a hard time. It seems so right, like the two of us really belong here. Oh, it's so right. Let's take advantage of it. Let's pace ourselves. I think the problem is we have different paces. Oh, yes, but slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> You got the time? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, well, should I do something wrong? No, no, it's me. I, I'm just fighting this inner battle between conscience and desire. Oh, what are you doing? Betty, in the last 20 minutes, I've been rejected more than I have in my whole life. All right. No more rejections. Are you sure? I'm sure. What's this all about, Bender? We just thought you'd like to have a souvenir photo of this occasion. <laughs> well, we have your standard 8 by 10s plus a speedy delivery to your loved ones. And your wife. <laughs> Are you through? Oh, not really. Do you think I can get another one? Girls? <laughs> this is extortion. I have a better word for it. It's called blackmail. Somehow, Bender, I'm gonna make you regret this. I'm quaking in my boots. All right. What do I have to do to get that film? To get the film, forget the report. What report? What film? <laughs> now, I don't consider myself to be an unreasonable man. And I'm willing to listen to any explanation anyone has concerning what happened on an island. So... Who wants to go first? Well, oh, one at a time. Oh, one at a time. Shut up! Bender. Sir. Talk. Uh, sir, first, 
I'd like to congratulate you on the way you handled Kern. It was really a terrific job. Wasn't it a terrific job? Yes, yeah, unbelievable. Just tell me what happened. Sir, it really is a tender little story about how two young lovers prove once again that love conquers all. Of course, we're not talking about Hunkle and Crandall here, because we all know that's over. Or am I just being a silly old fool? As long as we're all here, I want to tell you some new safety regulations that just came down the pipe. 